Hey guys, welcome back to another All Things Nerd video. Welcome back to part two of the Elden Ring Beginner's Guide. We have made our way to the Weeping Peninsula and let's continue. So since we're now at the last site of grace that we visited, we're gonna come over here to the bridge, one that we crossed, the Bridge of Sacrifice, a little earlier. If you haven't yet checked out the other video that I just posted, please go check it out. Um, I explore the beginning of the game. Also explore been a, a little bit of Limgrave. Uh, how to get your wet knife stone, how to get torrent, all the good stuff. So if you haven't yet, I'll put the link description below. But let's keep continuing on our part two. So we're going to head over here. We're going to pick up this item right here. This is another stone sword key. We're going to take out a couple of these enemies real quick. Oh, what the? There we go. Oh, I'm sucking. Oh god. All right, we're going to heal up. Woo. Getting our butt kicked. Oh, that was sloppy as heck. Hey, we got a Lordran's straight sword. All right, we're going to go over here to the right. We're going to go pick this up over here. We're not going to worry about those dudes over there. There's no point. If you want to go kill them, you can. They're just going to give you some more runes. Uh, we just wasted a lot of uh, blasts, so we're going to go back to Grace. We're going to go rest again so we can get our flash charges back. How much? How many runes do we have, by the way? About 1,000? Wait to level up. Alright, so what we're going to go do, we're going to go head this way. We're going to go head uh, south. We're going to go talk to this lady over here. She's going to give us a quest. I bend your ear for a moment, please. My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have... I... I can't be sure, but I swear I heard frightful how my good father secreted me out the castle, but decided to make... We can skip this dialogue a little I... bit. The servants... They've seen skull, I feel so essentially, she's going to give us a quest to go find her father in Castle Morn. And we're going to accept it. Deliver it to me. There we go. All right. Gonna continue south. So we're gonna follow this path down the Weeping Peninsula. And so we can either skip this area or we can continue on. But let's go ahead and take out the enemies here in this area real quick. A few of these guys, so. Pick up some extra runes here. Oh, we got a couple dogs on us. So I hate dogs in this game. One of my least favorite enemies. I think it's most people. <laughs> but you can deal with them pretty easy. There we go. Head over here. We're gonna go deal with this guy. We're going to go take out this giant. Well, actually, we're going to take out the dogs first because the giant won't. The giant won't actually aggro us um, until we back him. So. Oh, I thought we killed the other dog. Peasy got this. All right, we're gonna switch it two handed because we're gonna do a lot more damage that way. Um, and we can kill the giant or we can let it go. We're gonna kill him. I say free XP. There we go. Over here, can we get to him in time? Oh, we missed the stutter. Of course we did, or the stun, or whatever. We missed the visceral. Referring to Bloodborne. Ah. 
that big booty. Oh, we jumped late. We suck. And we suck again. Okay. We're gonna heal up. God. Sucking. Man, we did a lot less damage to him than I thought that we would do, to be real with you guys. But I guess technically we still haven't leveled our stats yet, so... Alright, we're gonna continue on. He gave us our recharges of our flask back, so... Stab him. Getting a lot of cool drops this. My other playthrough, I didn't get as many drops. Alright, cool. Oh, we're going to want to go kill this thing. And there we go. Forget it. All right. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead to up here. It's going to be another side of grace we're going to go get right up here. We're going to rest at it so we can get our flash charges back. Also, we're going to level up. And we're going to do one point in. There we go. I think that looks good. Dexterity, strength, and vigor. So vigor gives us health. Strength is, of course, pretty planetary. Dexterity also helps us with our attack power as well. So we're going to level those up. We're going to go talk to this other merchant. Let's see what he has to offer. Hey, the bastard sword. I know I have those runes in my, uh, where are we right now? There's another side of grace we can actually go pick up while we're over here. So let's go do it. We're gonna go to the right more up here because we want to avoid these dogs. All right, and there's another gray site right here. We're gonna come back to this place later. Oh, and by the way, if you guys didn't know, you can actually go to your map and you can travel between fast travel between sites of gray. So that's a good way also to get around the map. But if you just want to explore, use torrent. It's gonna be there. okay. So after we get into the Weeping Peninsula, we've dealt with the beginning little band of whatever those creatures are. We've got two sites of grave. We're going to go ahead to Castle Morne and we're going to go see if we can go deliver that letter to that woman's father, who is apparently the king. But on our way there, we're going to take a stop. We're going to go fight this over here on the left. And what's going to happen here is we're going to get giant arrows shot at us. Second. 
There's gonna be like some fire giant standing up, beginning of Castle Morne. Wherever they are, usually he's firing over. It, so I don't know where he's at. Where am I going? Usually there's a enemy up here. Where am I? Am I not far enough yet? I don't think I'm far enough. Yet. Yeah, here. This is what I'm looking. For. We're gonna go kill this guy. He drops. Um, I don't know what he drops exactly, but I know he drops something pretty cool. We're gonna go deal with him. We're gonna go backstab him. For a lot of damage. I hate these slow attackers. Because like I can't I can never time them well. That's one thing you'll notice about a lot in this game. Is that the bosses and the enemy types? They slow attack, and so it really throws you off. All right, we're gonna go ahead to that giant. Now, don't be intimidated of the giant, the one that's over here. He's easy. You literally just gotta keep hitting his legs that he has like fire on. And and I lost. Okay. <laughs> oh, I suck at getting those things so bad. Uh, we don't want to go over there. That's like poison. We're going to go take care of this giant firing arrows at us. Go take a look. Woo. We're going to dismount. All right. You see these fire? We're just going to start attacking them. Got him. And that's it. He's easy to deal with. And we're going to go to Castle Morne. We're going to go take the Site of Grace. How much? We have about 1,638 runes. I think we can level up again. Yeah, uh, let's put in strength. We're doing okay on health. We need some more damage. Uh, anything? Remember if there is. Alright. We're gonna head up to Castle Morne. And there's a few items you can get here that are pretty cool. And I'll show you guys how to get around Castle Morne, so take a look. So there's two, there's like three different directions we can go here. We can either go to the right and we can go over that hill and lead these enemies off one by one. And we can go behind them and get over there, that passage. We can take a left here and go up to our another left. We can fight some dogs or we can go that way and go straight. We're going to go left first. We're going to go deal with the dog. Pick up that smithing stone. All right, jump over this wall. We're gonna go feed these dogs out one by one. There we go. So what I'm doing there is I'm just letting them hit my shield and I'm pressing R2 immediately. And it, see, it stuns them. That's an easy way to deal with dogs in this game. I still don't like dealing with them. They'll suck to do. Right, we're going to heal up because we're getting kind of low. Come on, doggy. There we go. Alright, we're going to go around these guys. We're going to go fight the pumpkin head over here.
But first, before we fight this guy, we want to go take this guy out. Actually, you know what? Let's go grab this first. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to go take out this uh, guy over here first. Because if we start fighting this guy right here, the other guy's going to come aggro us. Take him out. We don't, he doesn't have to be a problem. So when we start fighting the big guy, he won't mess with us. There we go. Easy. Okay. Now we're going to go fight the big guy. We're going to switch the two-handed. All right. There we go. Off. Oops. Too early. There we go. Now, usually he'll drop a sanctuary stone, but he has some rare drop items. Like, you can actually get his helmet. It's like, I think it's called, like, the pumpkin head helmet or something like that. And so you can get that off him. Now, this part's going to get a little more tricky. We're going to climb up here. The enemy's going to run at us. Usually that goes over a lot better. That did. Now we don't have a bow or anything, so we can't really draw these guys out, which kind of sucks. We're gonna have to just fight him real quick. There we go, take out one. So, there is a site of grace. Do not drop down here right away. You want to go do this other area first because if you drop down here, you're going to be stuck and it's going to take you to the back side. And that's actually where the Castle Morne boss is. But we're going to get to him in a little later. So, what we're going to want to do is if we can either drop down here or we can go get the item over here. Let's go get the item over here first. Now be careful. This guy right here is waiting to ambush you right behind these barrels. There we go. Finish him off. Easy. Pick up the smithing stone. And we're back to where we came from. Uh, over here is actually going to be where the daughter is. Or the, sorry, the daughter, uh, the daughter's dad or the king is going to be able to drop down. Uh, we're gonna break up some fighting here. And I kind of like to attack these guys if I can, obviously in one motion, get both of them in your swing. Makes the fight so much easier. All right, we're gonna go take these dudes. Usually there's a lot more people here, but I guess they already killed each other off, apparently. That was the easiest I've ever had that fight. <laughs> that was nice. They must have killed each other before I got up there because usually there's like a lot more people there. And here he is. So you remember that letter we got earlier from the woman? That's actually him. Uh, Talk to him. There's a face I've not seen before. Oh, you can see how things have turned out. The menials have already gained me good service. We've listened to this many times, so I'm just going to skip forward. Basically, he gives you a sacrificial twig. You're going to deliver the letter. But I can't. 
He tells you you can't leave because he needs to stay with his castle. And then, uh, yeah. You need to head back to her now. But first, we're going to go do now the other side. But while we're here, we should go get the side of grace. And then what we can do, since we're going to go do that side anyway, is we're going to take this side of grace and go to the other entrance side of grace. So this is what I was telling you. If you took this, you're trapped. You can't get back up here. Not that I have found a way. Be wary of it. Up. Uh, let's. Do We're going to out. Oh, actually, we can put a Ash of War on our weapon. Let's do quality longsword. We're just gonna do standard. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go beginning entrance. And we're gonna go do the right side of Castle Moor. Maybe some cool items over there. So we're gonna lower the lever. Now, I mentioned earlier in the video, for those who have made it this far, uh, that there's four main bosses in the peninsula. And the first boss you're gonna to wanna to do is the Castle Morning. I recommend personally. Uh, you can go do the castle or the Excuse me, the, the Mornay Mines boss. He's pretty easy. But I like to start with this guy first. It's not too hard once you get to know him. He can be pretty fast. Oh yeah, we didn't do the summoning pool. Silly me. Alright, so what we're going to do is we need to get over there. So we're going to take out these guys one by one. Other beings... Well, our plan was to do one by one, right? We got two of them now, so now we got to deal with two. Now we got to deal with three of them, okay. But we messed that up, but that's okay. Alright. All right, not too bad. Okay, not too shit. We got to be wary of the dog. All right, we're about to aggro a bunch of enemies. That's okay, though. We are professional. As I... As I roll into a wall, I'm like, we're professional. Yeah. There we go. All right, we got one or two of them. All right, now let's go take out the big guy. God, like I told you earlier, I suck at... I suck at slow attack. Take the backstab. And he should be dead. There we go. Whew! Okay. Still got it. <laughs> got it. Um, oh, nice. We got the iron cleaver. I never got that before. Gonna run. Woo. Oh, God. We need to heal. Nice. Okay. We're going to pick up the fire grease. 
And how much? Can we actually wield it? Do it. We don't have our special power anymore. The Ash of War so just pushed out the weapon, but that's okay. Take a look at it. Over here to the left. Uh, right here is going to give you the Claymore. And that's actually heavy, though. See, this is medium weight. Claymore is heavy, so that's the only thing that kind of sucks about it. This thing's quick. Oh! Wow, we almost died. Okay. We gotta be really careful up here because we have no more flasks. <laughs> and, uh, we're on, we are on, we're on like no health. So gotta be careful. Honestly, I think we should let the fight. As much as we can, we're gonna run past these guys. Oh God. Okay. Bad. And this cleaver thing does work, huh? Yeah, here we go. The steel wire torch. This thing's never seen. This. I'll show you here. I don't want him to right now because I, I. Oh God. Okay. That's like the slowest roll ever. Oh, good Lord. Okay, we're fat rolling. All right, nice. We got a crossbow. Okay, we just lived through all of that. I don't know how we did that, but we did. Alright. So I was going to show you. So if you get this steel wired torch, this thing is cool. Watch this. Free fire. I don't think it does too much unless you're like an arcane or like build. So it doesn't really matter. Now if we go up here, I don't remember. Oh yeah, this is just a shortcut to area over here. Um, you missing it? We're gonna take the ladder because I really just don't want to die right now. We're gonna just gonna. Oh yeah, item over here. Nice. Okay. Allows us to call on people. What we're gonna do now. We're gonna head back to the beginning because we need to desperately heal. I guess we could fast travel. Or do we wanna go here? Cause we need to go behind the castle. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go here. We're gonna fast travel to the um, side of grace behind the castle. We're going to go into our inventory. We're going to take the golden that we found from earlier. That's going to add to our runes and we're going to level up. We like strength. And we're fat rolling. We're going to take our helm. There we go. We're going to help a ton. All right. We're going to drop down here. We're gonna drop down here. Drop down here. Oh yeah, we gotta be careful. We could drop down. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's just jump it. Nice. And I remember down here there's actually a bunch of enemies. I 
there's this guy. And over there is a lot more guys. God, I forgot about that. We're not gonna deal with this guy because he I like this cleaver. This thing does work though. I don't remember if there's anything over here. The dung piles. Alright, we're gonna sneak up and take these dudes out. I'm just trying to mess around with the controls for a minute. Don't die. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's just kill him. Good night. All right, we're gonna head up here. Ooh, that was close. I was messing around too much. I was trying to see if I could hit my uh, special ability on him. We're going to go over here and there should be chest. I don't remember what this gives you. Vince Blade Talisman. Oh yeah. So this thing is cool. Like it basically does like critical strike on like last attack of like executive attacks. or. All right. We're gonna drop down here. Now there's another ball here, which will actually replenish our flask once we build this thing. Awesome. There we go. Nice. So it gave us our flask back. And. Oh, yep. Harness Golden Sunflower. All right. Actually. Ah, uh, the thing dropped off the edge. Funny. We're gonna jump over here. We're not missing anything. We're gonna drop down. Oh man, I hate this. Oh, there's like a bunch of rats and stuff. We gotta be careful dropping down. Alright, we're gonna go here, and we're actually just gonna drop and run out. We're gonna roll! So, we're gonna take out the rats right here. We're gonna take out. And I know there's actually a side of grace over here. Yep, there it is. gonna rest again we're gonna refill our flask and then we're gonna go take on the boss and actually we're gonna locate our flask because we don't ever use the mana so let's give ourselves more and we level up again we oh all right and we're gonna go take on the boss hopefully we'll kill him on our first try we might die Gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, we'll come back over the bridge later. Let's we'll see if we can kill the boss.
If not, um, okay. All right, let's go take him on. I gotta remember what I'm doing. And I don't remember what I'm doing. Okay. So I suck. Okay, let's. I haven't fought him in a minute, so I don't remember his move set as much. And when I fought him my first time, it was with the Claymore, so I was like stunning him with my attacks. Here I'm not, I have a faster weapon, so. We're gonna die. There we go. And we're dead. Yep, okay. <laughs> I haven't fought this guy in a minute, so Ooh, he's quick. But I do recommend doing him first only because he will help you get used to the other bosses that are going to be in this area. Um, well. Anyways, guys, that is the be part two of the beginner's guide to Elden Ring. This is the Weeping Peninsula. Uh, we'll come back on another video and we'll attempt to fight the boss again. Uh, I definitely want to use the Claymore and not the Iron Cleaver because the using the Claymore is... Actually, is this... No, the Claymore. The only thing is the claymore is heavy, so. Yeah, anyways. Thank you guys for watching part two of our Elden Ring playthrough and our guide. Uh, hope you will see you guys in the next video. If you haven't, please like, subscribe to our channel. And uh, yeah, take care, guys.